Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, obviously, it was special to be part of making history in 2008. Um, you know, a long time since then, and a lot of things have changed. A uh, new squad, new players, and obviously a lot of new competition in the tournament. So, exciting to be up here in England and hopefully try and defend the title. A bit more pressure as possible favourites this time as the holders? Um, I, I guess there might be from, from the outside in, um, within the group. Uh, we're still very much focused uh, on our own performance and preparation. And, um, yeah, you don't really buy into that too much. Good. Kevin Sinfield, um, I think I'm right in saying, and I don't want to make you feel too old here, Kevin, but you're the only player who played in the World Cup in 2000 who will be playing in the World Cup 2013. So you've, you've had the feel of a home nation's World Cup. So what, how important is that, that home nation support? Yeah, cheers for that, Dave. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah I think it's... It's vital for us, I think, if we can take advantage of, of having the home support, uh, it'd be fantastic for us as a team. Yeah. You, you're obviously looking forward to it. the events of Saturday, I presume it's, it's how you respond to that now? Yeah, very much so, yeah, it's a big challenge for us this week. Um, makes it more difficult because of our result at weekend, but I think the squad is really strong and united, and we're really looking forward to what's to come, you know, the challenge that lies in wait for us, and uh, we know we've got to be at our best. Craig Kopchak, alongside you, the uh, representative of Wales today, of course. Again, a, a home nation World Cup for you, playing in places like Cardiff and Neath and Wrexham. Um, again, that home support is going to be really vital for you, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, to play, obviously, a home game at Millennium Stadium is going to be a massive achievement for, for Wales as a nation, and hopefully we can get the support we need. And how has the squad come together? Uh, really well, yeah, preparation is going uh, outstanding and really looking forward to the challenge ahead. Cameron Smith alongside you, the Australian skipper, is it still hurting the events of 2008? No, it's still not hurting now. Um, obviously, it's very uh, very disappointing at the time, uh, yeah, given that I thought we played really well in the, in the, in the tournament back in Australia, but um, New Zealand were, were too good for us on the night. Um, there are still a few guys um, playing in this side now. Uh, they played in that, in that final, and, and then sure, there's disappointment still from the result. But um, yeah, there's no talk of redemption from our squad or um, you know, from our coaching staff about uh, making up for, for 2008. We know that it's a uh, totally different ball game this time around. We got a, we got a brand new squad. Um, you know, we've got new new coaches, um, and you know, we're playing against. Uh, totally different teams this time around and our focus is not about the final at all our focus is about this week and, and making sure that we play the best we can against England. Okay, thank you very much, best of luck.